Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the buffer concept in the Node.js. So what is this buffer actually? The buffer what I want to tell you is the buffer is nothing but a small memory allocating a small memory location in the memory. So that is called as a buffer. So I will try to explain you clearly. So no, normally if you are trying to learn about the Node.js, so if you try to open here, let me open the Chrome. Okay. Let me open the Chrome. I will open the Chrome here. So I'm opening the Chrome here. Let me open the Chrome. Yeah. So let me open the browser. So if I'm if I'm trying to open the Chrome, so if you if you open the Node.js, okay. So this is our Node.js website, and here you will be able to see the docs. If I try to click on the docs, so these are all some of the core concepts available in the Node.js. In these core concepts, we will try to learn one by one. So, but first we will learning about the buffer. Okay. So what is this buffer? So buffer is a core concept in, a, in any programming language. So in the backend programming language, when you are trying to delete, so it, it, uh, not only in the Node.js, in the Python, .NET, everywhere in the Java, we will be coming across the concept buffer. Okay. So what is this uh, buffer? Let's try to understand the first concept buffer. So let's let me explain you a thing clearly. So buffer is nothing but it will store a fixed length sequence of bytes. So many Node.js API supports buffer. So for example, let's say that if you are having a, uh, why we use this buffer? Buffer means, so why we will use this one is, so in order to uh, maintain the binary data. So normally the JavaScript arrays and all those things if you are having, so that one will store the data of any type. Whereas the buffers, so which is exclusively used to store the binary data. So that is the usage of this buffer. So a buffer is a special object in the Node.js that represents a fixed length sequence of bytes. So for example, if you have given a uh, memory uh, buffer means, so you are asking in the node through the Node.js, I want a buffer memory. Buffer means a memory location will be assigned. So each one will be having a sequence of bytes. Okay. So one, two, three, four. So let's say that I want a buff, I want a memory okay in the buffer which should be of four bytes okay so four bytes means is nothing but one byte is equal to eight bits so here you can store the eight bits of data so 0 1 1 and 0 1 1 let's try to see so this is one byte of memory so like this the bytes so we are asking the node.js to assign a buffer of memory four bytes so this is one thing so now why we use this buffer is this buffer is used to work with binary data only which is essential for handling the files network packets or the raw memory video or audio files if you are trying to stream this one so you need to understand about the streams concept also which we will try to learn furthermore so that one we will be trying to use it so this is the main usage of this buffer so why we use this buffer in order to maintain the binary data so buffer is used to store and manage the binary data Normally, as I told you, right, pure JavaScript is a great with Unicode strings, but it does not handle binary data. So when you want to access the dealing with TCP stream and performing a read write operations on the file system, so then you need to deal with the pure binary data. So when you are dealing with the pure binary data, then the buffer is the only concept which you can use it. To satisfy this concept, buffer is buffer use you Node.js uses the buffer to handle the binary data. So that's why we need to understand about this binary data. So how we can uh, generally buff, uh, let normally generally what I can say is buffer refers to the a particular memory location in a memory. That's it. So that's the only thing. So let's try to see. So here I will be creating. So here I will be creating here. So this is our Node.js core concept. So here I will be creating a new file buffers. Okay, and here I will create command prompt or otherwise here let's go and file open folder. Let's go into this one and localhost D. So here we will be having node.js core and the buffer. So we are learning about the buffer. 
so let me open this buffer so now in this buffer let's try to see the simple examples so new file buffer.js so normally the buffer js comes uh, by default so if you want to you create it means so we need to use we need to import the buffer constant buffer is equal to require of buffer okay so here you can ask you can use it like this so now let's try to uh, write the code for this one so how we can assign so here you can also use something like node buffer also you can use it so that's not a problem so now the spelling mistake let's try to rename this file okay so now i told you right Mem buffer means it's nothing but a memory location so now if you want to arrange the memory location means so what you need to do it is let's say constant buffer one is equal to so i want to assign buffer dot so you need to write it here buffer dot so here you will be able to get the methods let's see buffer dot you are not getting it okay so allocate so allocate is the method which you will be able to get it and here i need a four bytes of data let's say so here we will be getting four bytes of data now let's try to see what you will be having console dot log of buffer one okay let's go to here and here i will use the cd buffers and here i can use node buffer.js file so if you try to see here so a new buffer has been created with four bytes of data so right now when you have used this alloc so it creates a buffer of size so if you want you can also take it as a 10 also not a problem and here you will be able to see 10 where 10 bytes is allocated all are initialized to zero okay if you want to allocate buffer with a specific value means so here you can use comma one then it, it will be all set to buffer one okay so all will be set to one value this is the thing so we also have an another method that is nothing but alloc unsafe so unsafe means what it will try to do it is so now whenever you are trying to create a buffer in this space so what it will try to do is, this is a faster way but it may contain the leftover data from the memory so it will not take a specific memory cleared memory it will not take it so whatever the memory is available it will try to create take it and it will allocate for you so if any existing data is there if any old data is there means the whole data will be coming like that only so that is the thing so if you want to create directly if you want to any so now here we have assign we have created a memory location but the data is not assigned to it one but if you want to assign it directly means then we can use directly here buffer dot from so from means so you can directly add the data so here i will be using something like array or string anything you can do it one comma two comma three now if you try to see the output for this one so here you'll be able to see one two three has been arranged in the buffer so that is, this is one thing and if you want to have a text value also you can use it buffer dot tst so this is also one way which you can do it now if you try to see here so here if you try to see 74 65 73 74 has been assigned what is this one all so this is nothing but the hexadecimal value of this one so if you try to check this t so this one by default this is all utf8 okay by default it is utf8 encoded version so now if you try to check this one all so what it will try to do here the values will be 74 76 means so it will be utf8 hexadecimal code so if you try to check the uh, t value hexadecimal means so if you try to check the um, utf8 hexadecimal values so if you try to check it here so here you'll be having all the values so here let's open in the double three schools and here you'll be able to see um, so many values are there so what how can we find out these are latin numbers and all those things so here you can have um, latin greek latin basic latin extended let's try to see the box drawings link uh, alphabets alphabets html utf8 emojis entities so like this you will be having it i am unable to find those all a values and all the things modifier letters what is this modifier letters i don't know okay here we are able to see hexadecimal 0 to be 
AV. Okay, this is all not those all things. So fine. So what I want to tell you is the uh, UTF eight, UTF eight hexa for alphabets. Let's see. Let's see once. So here you will be able to see Latin extended control basic Latin um, character table. You will be able to see it somewhere. You will be able to find it. So here you will be able to find it. So that that is nothing but here you will be able to see the values. What I want to tell you is that is nothing but 74, 60, 65, 70, 74 means for the test T E S T the hexadecimal UTF encoded. So that is one thing. And also what you can do it is. So if you want to mention the different type of encoding means you can also mention it. The second argument is nothing but the encoding. Oh sorry. So here you can encode it. So here you will be having Latin one uh, as key. Okay. So whatever the things you want to provide the encoded format, you can provide the encoded format. So in this way it will be converted. So that's it. So now when converting between buffers and string, you can specify you can specify encoding. I have shown you. The default encoding is UTF-8, but you can specify others like hexa or base 64 something like that. So I have shown you. So now this one is UTF-8. So if you want to convert this one means to string. So you can use directly to string. By default, this one will be something like uh, UTF-8 only. So now if I try to show you the output for this one, you will get the test automatically. So if you want to get it as an hexa means, so here you can write hex. Okay. And here you'll be able to see again 74, 65, 73. So these all values you are able to get it. So if you want base 64 means you can write it as in base 64. Automatically this one will be converted to base 64. So this is all the different ways. So different encodings and case sensitivity are those all the things will work. It's not a problem. So whatever the values you are having automatically those things will be converted. So this is how the buffer we will be allocating the memory and we are converting it. So normally the finally what I want to tell you is buffers are used for handling the binary data efficiently in the node.js. They can be created using buffer.alloc, buffer.alloc on safe and also buffer.from. By default buffers are UTF-8 encoding but other encodings like hexa base 64 and also can be used. So encoding names are case instance too. So you can also use UTF-8 capital letters also. Buffers provide efficient handling of raw data making them crucial for working in the files, streams and network communication. So this is the basic introduction of the buffer. Hope you understood about this buffer concept. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.